enough of the stinky stuff. Time to wake up and smell <laughs> the lilacs. It's the time of year to enjoy all the gorgeous blooms and shades of pink and purple. And here to remind us of how to take care of our lilac trees is Cisco Morris himself. I mean, who else would it be, right? Oh, hey, and I noticed something. What? When you smelled that flower, your socks were rolling up and down. <laughs> Actually, Cisco, I gotta be honest. This lilac has no smell. Oh, no, it does. Maybe it doesn't. But now this one does not. Oh, but that's a thing, right? That is smell the these. thing. Okay. Smell that. Oh, see, that has a smell. How come this one doesn't and that one does? Some lilac trees just don't have any fragrance, and so I always tell people if you're going to buy a lilac, go to the nursery okay. when they're in full bloom and buy, give it the sniff test, you yes. know? Yes, very good test. <laughs> and uh, I'll tell you, and it is funny, some just never get good fragrance for whatever reason, it might be the variety, but uh, some just, they just don't have it. All right, well speaking of going to do the sniff test, what is the blooming window for these lilacs? Well, they're just starting to bloom right now. They usually only last about two to three weeks maximum. Okay. Usually more like yeah. two. That's Ooh. the sad part about lilacs, you know? Um, I followed all the advice you gave me last year for your lilacs, but uh -oh. mine have not bloomed yet. <laughs> oh, la la! I'm putting him on the spot today, I mean, <laughs> no. But why, why do you think that is? Is it in really full sun? Not not all day, no. No, that's the problem. Okay. And there's, you know, you could dig it out, move it. How long have you had that lilac? I mean, it's a, it's a tree now. There's no digging. It's, yeah, there, oh, there's no it digging. Kill that well, thing. You could walk in front of it with a chainsaw to scare it. <laughs> <laughs> there's got to be some way hey, to make this thing Lilac cool. plant, <laughs> ship up or get the saw. <laughs> so, um... People often get a little bit frustrated because like my tree, it's getting a little bit tall and it's hard to prune. And last year, that's kind of what you taught me most about is pruning. So actually, A, I'd love for you to show me how to prune again. Because okay. last time we were on Zoom, we didn't get to do this in person. So I didn't really get the, the full that's tutorial. Right. That's right. But this time we're together, so show me how. Okay, and, and one thing I want to mention here. Okay. Let's see, I got, I got to find this one. Okay, so. This is a seed pod from last year. A you, seed pod? Yeah, here's some of the seeds. Oh yeah, okay, okay. So after they're done blooming, yeah. you wanna cut this off. You gotta cut it back. If you don't, it's gonna go to seed. And oh. then if it goes to seed, it does. I did what my job is, reproducing. I don't have to do anything next year. I'll take the year off, you know? Oh. So if you prune and cut these off before they go to seed. You have to do it before they turn brown. No, as soon as they turn brown. As soon as all right. they turn brown, yeah. okay. Yeah. All right, and so where do you cut, though? That's my thing. Well, I always have the, the biggest big problem pressure. with. Let's use a big one okay. here, because here's a, a, a perfect example one now. it's Look, at it's starting to get tall as can be. Yeah. Now, in theory, you should just be able to cut this down. You cut about a third of them. Cut down the like whole that. bush, no, the whole yeah, branch, yeah, eh? Yeah, and then you can cut. So, you know, now they only bloom on what grew last year. So you don't want to cut every one of these things off. Now, after it's done blooming, you can just cut it just there. Okay. And that'll still bloom next year. Okay. If you but what cut, about this guy I chopped off? That's not blooming that's, again, is it? That, this guy's going to put out new growth, but uh, you oh, won't okay. see any blooms on that for a while. So okay. be merciless. Ah! Just cut the tweedle out of it. <laughs> cut the tweedle out of that guy. Sorry, guy. It hurt me more than it hurt you. <laughs> I'm so glad that you showed us that because I did really wonder, because we haven't been able to be together, but what about the top higher ones that I can't quite reach? What do I do? Just cut the branch low well, then? Well, you can, but you won't get blooms for a little while. Okay. But uh, since you're not getting any blooms anyway. <laughs> Just rubbing it in now. That, that was burns, Cisco. <laughs> but um, so you know, literally, uh, lilacs live over a hundred years. Really? But individual branches only live about twenty-five years. So okay. at some point, they get all kind of rotten. Mm -hmm. Just cut below the rotten part, and they start growing right back how, up. How do you know if it's rotten? What does it look like if it's rotten? Uh, you could almost put your fingers through it. Ooh, You'll gross. see. It looks. Not good okay. down there at the All base. Right. So cut below that if okay. you see that, and that'll just renew it. It'll come whipping back. And I love it. It's beautiful. All right, my final question before I let you run out of here is once we cut them and enjoy them in our house, is there a way to make them last longer? Because I swear I could put a lilac in a bowl and the next day it's like, I know. I, it's hard to, you know, because they're so woody. That's why it's hard. 
So uh, my best advice is to keep them in a really cool room at okay. night. Okay, all I right. Cu I cut all these off uh, my neighbor's bushes <laughs> last <laughs> night. So in the <laughs> cover tell. of night. Man, our, our neighbors are never going to trust us again. I know. This is bad. All right. Well, <laughs> thank you so much, Cisco. I wanted to ask you about dwarf lilacs and larger ones, but maybe we'll have to ask that later. We could put that on the Instagram as website. well. We'll put it on the website. Thank you so much. I'll never steal your line again.